the Lake County Library. This is Christy Lewis from the Lakeport branch and today we're going to be talking about a book haul of history and current events books and one science fiction book that is related to these history and current events books. Normally I try to put other stuff into a book haul so it's not just one thing but in this case I was clicking around on the catalog after our novelist tutorial and I was having such a good time and I found a book list after hearing of one of these books I Love Russia by Elena Kostyachenko in an email. This book list of history and current events came up, so this is entirely inspired um, by clicking around on our catalog, and you too can find really exciting books just by clicking around on the catalog. But there's always some inspiration there if you're looking for your next great read or through novelists. And in case you missed it, I did do a tutorial on novelists and how to use it through the Lake County Library catalog or through their website, which is also integrated with our catalog if you type in your library card. I will put that video right here in case you wanna go watch that. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to our book haul. Any of these books, if you are interested in ordering them, if any of them catches your eye, you can order them for free to the Lake County Library branch of your choice. And in fact, if you are in Sonoma or Mendocino counties, or you have cards from Mendocino or Sonoma counties, you can also order them to your library branch. And that is a free service. All you need is a library card. Just make sure that we have your updated information so that we can contact you when your book arrives at the branch of your choice. So let's jump into the book haul. So our first history and current events book is I Love Russia by Elena Kostyachenko, which was named a best book of the year by the New Yorker in Time and a New York Times book review editor's choice. Elena Kostyachenko is documenting her country as experienced by those whom it systematically and brutally erases. Village girls recruited into sex work, patients and doctors at a Ukrainian maternity ward, reporters like herself, and more. She reports on the war in Ukraine to be sure that Russians witness what Putin is doing in the name of Russian citizens. Next, we have Assyria, the Rise and Fall of the World's First Empire by Eckert Fram, who is a historian introducing the history of Assyria and Assyria's role in global history. Assyria's wide-ranging conquests have been long been known from the Hebrew Bible and later Greek accounts, but nearly two centuries of research have now revealed their vast libraries, monumental sculptures, and elaborate trade and information networks. Next we have Empires of the Steppes by Kenneth W. Harrell. This is an academic survey of the horse-based cultures of the Eurasian Plains, which often rode out to conquer neighboring lands. Harrell, a professor of classical and Byzantine history, took the occasion of a sabbatical canceled by the pandemic to write a sweeping narrative covering 45 centuries. That description was taken from Kirkus Reviews, from whom I actually build a lot of these summaries. Empires of the Steps is also available on ebook and book on CD. And our next option here is actually also by Kenneth W. Harrell, and it's also about the barbarian empires of the steppes. So this is a great course on pretty much the same subject by the same author. It covers the nomadic steppe peoples from antiquity to 550 AD, the early Middle Ages, a period of time that was dominated by the spread of Turkish language across the steppe zones, and the impact of the Mongols, which began in the 12th century and is still being felt today. However, great course is actually available on e-audio on Hoopla. So if you want to listen on audio but you don't have a CD player, you can listen just on your phone um, on the Hoopla app or on any other device like an iPad. So just a little bit more accessibility for anyone who's needing it. And it's also available on DVD, but I don't think that the lectures are filmed. I think it's still like audio, but it's in the form of a DVD. So you can play it in like a PlayStation or a DVD player or whatever. Next, we have The Middle Kingdom by Martin Rady. Central Europe has long been known as a region beset by war where empires clashed and world wars began. But the region is more than merely the fault line between the West and East. It developed its own cohesive identity, launched the Reformation and Romanticism, and more. <laughs> I had to cut, out, cut down the summary, and has influenced the modern world as well. So the Middle Kingdoms is scholarly, but it's also written really engagingly with engaging biographical details. Next, we have Differ We Must by Steve Inskeep. Journalist and historian Steve Inskeep reveals in 16 historical encounters how Lincoln was able to lead a social revolution in a divided America by working with his critics, compromising with those whom he deeply opposed, and moving only as fast as votes would allow. 
Differ We Must is also available on ebook, e audiobook, and summary. Next, we have The Sisterhood by Liz Mundy, The Secret History of Women at the CIA. This is a group biography of the exceptionally talented and tough women who excelled at the CIA during the Cold War and the War on Terror. The award winning journalist and author of Code Girls discusses why women make good spies and how they battled institutional stereotyping. The Sisterhood is also available on ebook, e audiobook, and in summary. Next, we have Road to Surrender by Evan Thomas, and the subtitle is Three Men in the Countdown to the End of World War II. This is a riveting, immersive account of the agonizing decision to use nuclear weapons against Japan, a crucial turning point in World War II and geopolitical history. Thomas lays out the behind-the-scenes thoughts, feelings, and motivations of three people who changed history. Road to Surrender is also available in large type and on ebook. Next, we have Social Justice Fallacies by Thomas Sowell, an economist and senior fellow at the Hoover Institution at Stanford University, delivers arguments both fiscal and political against social justice initiatives such as welfare and a federal minimum wage. A black scholar who has lived through many civil rights struggles, Sowell is also a follower of Friedrich Hayek and Milton Friedman. Social Justice Fallacies is also available on ebook and e-audiobook. Next, we have Sedition Hunters by Ryan J. Riley. How January 6th broke the justice system. Sedition Hunters is a study of citizen sleuths helping chase down the perpetrators of the January 6th insurrection. The criminal justice system has been strained by the sheer volume of conspirators, and online tipsters have mobilized to provide the FBI with tips. Sedition Hunters is also available on ebook in summary. And our final history book for today is The Blazing World by Jonathan Healy, who is a professor at Oxford of social history. The Blazing World covers the social and political makeup of Revolutionary Britain, 1603 to 1689. It includes portraits of ordinary and influential citizens like Isaac Newton. The political world we live in today, with regular elections, ideologically defined parties, and a vibrant press, was born in the 17th century. And our science fiction for today is related to this last title we just talked about. It's also called The Blazing World, but it's by Margaret Cavendish. This is the original. <laughs> this novel of 1666 is considered a forerunner of the science fiction novel. It's a feminist utopia which offers a fascinating first-hand view of the ideas that powered the scientific revolution. And Jonathan Healy just decided I'm gonna name my book the same things. The Blazing World by Margaret Cavendish is available on ebook and e-audiobook. That is it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this book haul. Let us know down below if you have any questions or comments, because we really love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you get notified every time we make a new video. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.